Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police with Yukon King, swiftest and strongest lead dog breaking the trail in the relentless pursuit of lawbreakers in the wild days of the Yukon. Back to the days of the gold rush as Sergeant Preston with his wonder dog Yukon King meets the challenge of the Yukon. This is the Yukon, the territory patrolled by Sergeant Preston, the Klondike, a giant magnet whose irresistible pull lured men with a glittering promise of gold. Neil Bascom, an affable but dishonest character, had just sold John Fletcher, a newcomer to the Klondike, a half interest in his general store at Brandon Point, some miles to the south. Soon thereafter, the two new partners had acquired joint ownership of a promising claim at Devil's Roost. John, this shaft will give you some idea what has to be done at our mine. Well, but aren't you coming with me? Oh, I've already seen it. Uh, I'll just prospect around out here and Borneo can build a fire and make some coffee. All right, but I'm too new at this mining game to learn much of value from looking into this old abandoned mine. Dynamite ready? We use it fast. I'll get the dogs out of here. Come on, you huskies, push! Ho! Secret way to tunnel. Jim Fletcher. John Fletcher. Good man. Keep star in Brandon Point. Too bad. Mm. He's still there. Maybe not too late. We carry him to our village. You know what to say. You know the story we're going to tell? Yeah, I know. Before we go in, there's one thing we better get straight. What's that? Ask him, I've been thinking. I'm in this deal pretty deep. And you're being paid for it, $5,000. That was our agreement, you'll get it. I know. But I want more. If you think I'm going to... Mr. Neal. Yes. Sergeant Preston, here. Sergeant Preston? What does he want with me? He bring people. You see, come. Well, Sergeant Preston. Hello, Mr. Bascom. What brings you here? I brought a surprise for Mr. Fletcher. Oh, well, who are these people? I'm Gil Fletcher. This is my sister Louise. We're your new partner's children. He never mentioned he had any children. Dad's not much of a talker. Where is he? We came all the way up from Seattle to surprise Daddy. Sergeant Preston was at the mail post when the dog sleds came in. He was so nice to bring us over. Yes, he certainly was. Where is Dad? Well, I don't know how to tell you this. Tell us what, Mr. Bascom? There's been an accident. To Dad? Where? Is he badly hurt? Your father's dead. I was just on my way over to the constables to tell him all about it. Dad, dead? How can that be? What happened? It doesn't seem possible. How did he, how did he die? He was in a mine shaft cave-in. <laughs> but are you sure? There's no doubt about it. I see. I'll go with her for a while. Talk with you later. How'd this happen, Mr. Baskin? Oh, uh, well, we ran across an old abandoned mine. John wanted to go and look it over. We tried to stop him. We know it was dangerous. The timbers were rotten. Yeah, he must have hit one of those uh, rotten timbers. The whole thing just...
caved in on. Did you get him out? Recover the body, I mean. Well, we couldn't, Sergeant. It was too dangerous. Uh, we just came back for some tools. Where did it happen? Upper Christmas Creek, Devil's Roost. There's a shaft cut right in the face of the cliff, about halfway up. Do you know the place? Yes, I know. Let me know when you go out for the body, will you? Yeah, sure, sure. Come on, King. Means, don't you? They'll probably claim their father's share of everything. We've got to find some way to get rid of them. What are you going to do? I don't know. Send, send them back home, back. Suppose they want to stay here. Yeah. Then we'll have to find some other way to get rid of them. It suits me fine. Nirana's old house. Christmas Creek. Louise? Yell? You've been very brave. Now I want to relieve you of all the sad details. I'll buy back your father's interest in the store and see that you get a profit. We appreciate your... Morning, old sir, but... One in. There are two express sleds going through to Dawson in the morning. You can be on them and back home before the big freeze up. Warn you, and I'll take care of everything. That's good of you, sir, but we've been thinking it over and we've decided to stay. There's another reason we have to stay, Mr. Bascom. You see, we have to get Dad's body out of that mine. Afterwards, I'd, I'd like to help run the store. There's no need for that. We can... There's another reason. Nirana told us of the gold claim you and Dad bought up in Christmas Creek. Since Dad's half the claim belongs to us now, I'm going up there and help you work it. Well, I'm afraid that'd be a waste of time. Your father and I looked it over and decided it was worthless. Besides, what do you know about gold mining, Gil? I had some experience mining gold down in California. There's no use talking about it, Mr. Bascom. We decided. You know, I think they're right. Gil has a right to help get out his father's body. And to look at the claim, too. So, why not? All right, we'll all be ready to leave first thing in the morning. Uh-uh, just the three of us. Louise better not go this time. You know, her father. I... I guess you're right, Barney. Good. It's all set. Well, that's all packed and we're ready to go. Where's Gil? Get his heavy clothes on. What was the idea telling Louise she couldn't come? We could have gotten rid of both of them at the same time. Now, Gil's the only one we got to get rid of. How do you figure that? I got other plans for Louise. Pretty gal, ain't you? You fool. You mean you'd rather have her than the money? I'd rather have both. What do you mean? It's simple. If Gil is dead, Louise will own half the mine. When I marry Louise, I'll control her share. And you think she will? <laughs> like to make a bet on it? Oh, ready, boy. Ready to go. Come on. Mr. Gill. Yeah, what is it, Nirana? Better you not go today. Better you stay. What do you mean? Signs in heaven not good. Signs bad for you today. Ah, uh, let's not have any of that science stuff, Nirana. Be all right, won't we, Gil? Sure, let's go. All right, oh! I go. You stay here. But, Nirana, where are you going? You stay. You know, do anything? Of course not. You want me to arrest the man for murder just because you've had a dream? Well, you've got to have a better reason than that. More reason for what? What's the trouble here? Arresting a man for murder just because she's had a dream. Oh, tell me about it. Nirana had a bad dream, Sergeant. The great shaman came to her in a dream and told her quite a story. 
did the great shaman tell you, Narana? Mr. Neal, kill Mr. John. Ah, oh, you know that's ridiculous, Sergeant. I saw your own preliminary report. John Fletcher was killed in the mine cave in. Well, I plan to go up there for an investigation myself this week. I think I'll leave immediately. What else did the great shaman tell you, Narana? Mr. Neal, send Mr. John into mine, then set off dynamite. Want Mr. John to die. Are you sure, Narana, that you dreamed this? Are you sure someone didn't tell you? Narana, dream. Is that all? More. Mr. Neal and Mr. Borneo take young Mr. Gill to mine at Christmas Creek. Boy will never come back. Is that all part of the same dream? No. New dream. Not same like other. How long ago did they leave for Christmas Creek, Narana? When sun come up. You go home now, Narana. We'll take care of everything. You go now. That's right. Sergeant, you mean you believe in old Indian's dream? When you've been around here a long time, Jim, you'll learn that an Indian's dream isn't always a dream. Most of them have a great respect for the law, but they're afraid of it, too. I suspect that Narana knows something. She's hiding behind this dream story. Well, then you think there's something to it? I do. Let's see, if they left at daybreak, they've got a big start on us. We'd better get moving. Come on, wait. Place where, where Dad. Yeah, that's the entrance to the shaft, or what's left of it. Well, better start a fire, and make some coffee. You know we need some wood. Will you cut some of those small firs over there, please? Sure thing. your job. What's the idea? You turn in soft. You're the one who wants to marry his sister and get her share of the claim. Think it over. so good. These small ones here better, do you mind? Not a bit. Thanks for the advice. Borneo! You didn't kill him. I heard him yell. You think he could fall from way up here and live? Don't be crazy. Oh, he must have gone all the way down. Well, that's done. Let's get back to Brandon Point and report another accident. Come on. Hey, wait a minute. Miss Gill's jacket. Better get rid of that, too. Throw it over the cliff. Hey, Neil, come here. What's the matter? Fresh tracks. Two people. Yeah, it looks like it was made one of those Indian drag litters. Indians? Come on, let's backtrack them. 
another entrance to the mine we didn't know about. John's pouch. He had it over his shoulder when he went into the mine. The Indians must have seen us and carried him out later on a, on a litter. It must have been what that Indian was telling Marana. It means John's alive. You'll tell the police we've lost everything. Look, there's another trail down the far side. We take it and head for the border. Come on, let's get the sled. they leave without passing us? Well, there's a trail that leads off down the other way. They may have taken that. <coughs> Wait a minute. King's discovered something. What is it, King? I don't see anything. There's a mark in the snow on that ledge down there. Yes, I see it. I'd like to know what caused it. There's a rope on my sled, Jim. Will you get it? Yeah, we'll see, King. I know you weren't excited for nothing. Rope the time on the sled. Get that blanket out of there, Jim. Put it out of the sled. Better get him home fast. Yes, take him back to Brandon Point as fast as you can. Here. What about you? I'm going after those other two. I'm sure they've taken that back trail. And they're headed for the border. Yeah, but they've got a sled and team, and you'll be on foot. I know, but that means with a the sled, they'll have to follow the trails. On foot, I'll be able to take shortcuts across the top of the hills and head them off. Yeah, but there'll be two of them, Sergeant. No doubt they'll put up a fight. Well, that means I'll have to take King, and you'll have to get along without him. I'll need him. What are you doing, Borneo? We can't stop here. Look, we gotta take it easy on the dogs. Blackie's going lame and the others are all in. But it's only a few miles to the border. They'll last that long, won't they? I sure hope so. 
Come on, dogs, mush! Uh. Not far ahead of us, King. They had to go around that hill with their sled. We can cut over it, head them off. Come on, let's go. Stay here and watch, King. They may come from the other direction. I'm going over there by that rock. where you are. I arrest you in the name of the Crown. Drop your gun, Borneo. All right. Move out there. Here we are. All right, Preston, I dropped the gun. Now what do you want? Put your hands up. Higher. Stay where you are. Where's your partner, Baskin? I don't know. Got tired. Kept lagging behind. Turn around. Get your hands behind you. Come on, move. Lie down. Behind your back. You don't want me, Preston. You want him. He did it. Well, I want you both. Now, come on, we'll take your sled. Come on. Come on, Borneo. You eat soup. Make strong. Ah, it's King and Sergeant Preston. Well, that's right, Sergeant Preston. We're all well. Thanks to you and King. And to a couple of Narana's Indian friends. You caught Neil and Borneo? Yes, we did. And they'll cause no more trouble for a long time. They're both on their way to the Dawson jail. Hey, Mr. Fletcher. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you alive and on the road to recovery. Now you and your fine son and daughter can make the Yukon a better place for all of us. As for your ex-partner, I believe in the hope of getting off with a lighter sentence, He'd be willing to surrender his interest in the store and the mine to you. Sergeant Preston, I owe you, well, my family owes you, more than I can express. <laughs> I'm just happy it worked out for all of you. Well, Jim, we better be getting along. Let these folks here enjoy their reunion. King, that goes for you, too. This case is closed.